Hello everyone and welcome to week three of English 111. This week we're going to be reading two essays actively in The Conscious Reader. First you'll be reading Susan Sontag's essay regarding the pain of others and second you'll be reading Reading Images on, which is found on between pages 2 and 23 in The Conscious Reader. You'll also be posting a journal entry this week, journal entry 3, um, and I realize there's been some difficulties with the journal um, postings. Apparently I was told it would reset for this semester, but it did not, and I apologize for the inconvenience. Um, it is now working, so if you click on the journal entry post, um, you will get a, um, the screen will allow you, if you say click, it'll give you directions on how to put your journal entry um, posted for the week. Please email me if you have any questions about this, but please post this week's journal entry and the previous entries. I cannot grade your entries unless you upload them into um, this format. So please, you'll, there will, you will have no penalty for being late on any of your journals. Please just, please just try to post them by the end of this course week. We're also going to be discussing the articles in our um, discussion forum. And um, I'll be doing a short mini lecture for you on the writing process, which will follow. And um, you'll also be writing your first writing assignment. Um, I suggest that you um, review the mini lecture now and then go ahead and read your articles. Um, then do your journal, um, your discussion forum, and your journal entry, and then complete your first writing assignment. So the writing process um, is a continuous process where you begin by generating ideas, then you plan, draft, and develop your paper, and then you revise and edit. And this, this, this cycle can repeat itself multiple times. Um, excellent writers constantly revise their writing. The beginning of a paper is to always review the assignment sheet. The prompt will always tell you exactly how you will be graded on your assignment, so it's important you take time to, to clearly understand what's written in the prompt before you even begin writing. Then, you want to choose which pre-writing technique you'd like to do in order to discover what topic you'd like to write about. Oftentimes you want to do more than one brain, uh, one, more than one type of um, pre-writing activities. I'm going to go over several different types, but this week what you'll be doing is free writing um, as part of, it's one of your journal, um, it is your journal entry for this week. Um, the first, first idea is brainstorming. That's where you use free association to stimulate a chain of ideas, often to personalize a topic or break it down. You can do this alone or you can do it in a group with friends. Um, the idea is to, to pull out ideas that you're not even thinking about in relation to a topic. The second is free writing. Um, this helps you tap into your unconscious by writing continuously. That means either typing without stopping or uh, writing without lifting your paper, your pen or pencil from the page for a specific amount of time. Generally speaking, you want to do this for about 10 minutes in order to have good effects. And if at the end of um, 10 minutes of, of, of free writing you don't have any good results, just try it again. Another way to do it if you're more of a visual person is to doodle or sketch. Um, you might want to take, uh, one way to do this is to draw a picture um, about the topic and then draw little pictures off of it that are related to, um, to that topic. It's another way of, um, of brainstorming or, or free writing. Mapping, um, if you like, if you like um, post-it notes or cloud software, you're, you're someone who might like to um, do mapping as a process of, of pre-writing. And how you do this is you start with a topic or idea and you put it in the center of a page either on a sticky note or using cloud software. And then um, off of that, you're going to choose several different um, subtopics. Like for example, if I were writing an, an essay about apples, um, I might want to talk about um, apples for baking, um, uh, apples, different breeds, uh, different uh, varieties of apples would be another topic. And then from each one, you choose different uh, other subtopics of that subtopic in order to, to kind of pull out as much information as possible. Another way to do it is to ask reporters questions. That's where you, um, you uh, define a topic 
Um, and then you ask the following questions, who, what, where, when, why, and how. And I have an example here of how to go through um, those questions in order to get deeper into a topic. Um, then once you've generated um, all of these ideas using some of these pre-writing techniques, um, then you need to discover material. To shape and support your ideas, you'll need evidence, facts, figures, reports, opinions, or examples, and you find evidence through your own experience and knowledge and through research. And don't worry, we're going to be doing a lot about research this semester. When you do research, you want to find material that draws you to new approaches and helps you think critically about all of these sources. Once you have generated ideas, it's time to plan, draft, and develop your paper. You plan by identifying your purpose and audience, who you're writing for and why you're writing it, decide on one main point, and state a thesis, and then organize your ideas by grouping or outlining. What are the different subtopics you're going to address in your paper? Drafting, you start and restart. You start writing, and then maybe it's not going the right way, you restart. You build paragraphs. Um, you open and conclude. That means you write an introduction and a conclusion. And you create co coherence between the different um, paragraphs. When you develop, um, you explain and support um, the things you've brought up in your draft. You add in definitions and examples and details. Um, you supply evidence, like such as facts, statistics, or expert testimony and observations. Don't worry, we'll be thinking much more about this process um, next week. Finally, um, after you've done your pre-writing, the next step in the, the process, I'm just going into a little bit more detail, is um, planning, is um, drafting your paper. Um, and after you've, um, I mean, I'm sorry, it's planning your paper. You want to identify your purpose and audience. You want to decide on your main point. You want to state your thesis and organize your ideas by, by group or outlining. So you identify your purpose and audience. Um, you decide on one main point um, that you'd like to write about. Um, and I have an example of here of how to um, really zero in on getting a, um, a, a solid thesis statement. Um, next, you're going to arrange your ideas and material in a sensible order that will clarify your point. One way of doing this would be to create an outline or to analyze the main point by breaking it down into parts. A thesis is the main point of your essay and your slant, or the reason why you're writing about this topic. If you don't discover a solid thesis while you're planning, you don't need to worry because you'll have time to perfect your thesis while you develop and draft your paper. When you draft, um, the, the next stage after you've done this planning is to draft your paper. And you want to let yourself go a little and let yourself explore the ideas in your paper. Um, on the right-hand side of the slide, I have a basic outline of, of how to structure um, your draft. And I'd like you to review this before you write your in-class essay. But we'll be going into much more detail about the entire writing process throughout the semester. So I hope that overview was helpful. Next week, um, you're going to be reading an essay called Argument, Critical Thinking, and Rationality. Um, this is just to give you a preview, guys. Um, but please don't hesitate to reach out to me if you have any questions. I know we've had some bumpy te um, technical issues, but um, I'm here um, to, to help answer questions. If you have any, please contact me via email at idunkel at clarion.edu or iris.dunkel at gmail.com. See you online.